Learning something new can be daunting. Let's break down the best ways to learn JavaScript. Rapid skill acquisition is a skill in itself. I can center a div. Show me. And if you're looking for a guide, Josh Kaufman's book, The First 20 Hours, How to Learn Anything Fast, is a must read. He lays out 10 golden principles for learners, including future JavaScript masters like you. We'll cover the different principles. We've also put together a blog post that supports this video. It reviews the resources you may want to look at while learning to code. We'll drop a link to that blog post in the description. So grab your notebook and let's dive in. First, break it down. Deconstruct JavaScript into subskills. Luckily, Kamran Ahmed's roadmaps over at Roadmap SH have already done this for you. Why is this so useful? Well, it gives you a solid foundation of programming. And theoretically, you have enough to go ahead and problem solve using it. But right, it's never that easy and life is pain. So now you have an understanding of different individual parts of the code, it's time to practice. And there's nothing better than practicing on a lovable project. Something that makes you excited to sit down and code. Maybe it's a web app that tracks your favorite pizza toppings or a game that lets you dodge flying cats. Whether it floats your boat, or sinks your boat if you decide to make a battleships game, it lets you test your understanding and fill in any gaps as you problem solve. Because it is something you're interested in too, you're more likely to stay engaged to see it through to the end. This also fits with the next principle, defining your target level. The level can simply be the project you wish to be able to develop. If you can create a project, then you know you've achieved it when it works. There's absolutely no limit to the number of projects you create, and every project will teach you something new. The more projects and programs you make, the better you'll understand ways to solve problems faster using what you've learned in previous projects. JavaScript doesn't need much to get going. If you want to do, you can just run your stuff using your local friendly neighborhood spider web browser. So the tool you develop JavaScript doesn't matter? Right, but also wrong. Although it's possible to use nothing, it's a lot more comfortable to use a tool such as WebStorm. There are a bunch of reasons why starting off with WebStorm can make a huge difference to your coding journey, as it comes with all the tools you need right out of the box. No extra plugins, no setup hassles, just pure coding bliss. So although code editors are very good, you usually have to install plugins to make them provide the support that you may need. WebStorm on the other hand includes fundamental support for initial kinds of JavaScript and TypeScript development out of the box. IDEs have an immense power behind them, as they're able to get a deep understanding of the code from their initial analysis. This means that you get feedback on the code when it won't work. But better yet, they can usually provide quick fixes to stop you getting stuck. If you are serious about learning coding, it has to be your number one priority until it's done. Unfortunately, combining coding with your hobby horsing passion will mean that you won't quickly master either skill and you might even sabotage your dreams of becoming a professional, hobby horser or coder. So if you're in, you're in, welcome. You will also need to put time into learning. Setting aside regular time to learn and practice the skill will progress you way faster than watching a tutorial, and then six months later, watching another tutorial. Regular practice and play will pay off, but you need to be disciplined and committed to doing it. No excuses, not even kitten videos. The final piece of advice is lots of short bursts of practice are really better than one really long one. Someone who practices for 30 minutes a day, five times a week, will get better quicker than someone who practices a once a month for 10 hours straight. Think of it like watering a plant. You don't want to drown it once a month, just drown it a little every day. Okay, I think that pretty much covers everything about learning developing. Well, learning anything really. I hope that you found this video useful. If you like this format and would like to see more of this kind of thing, please leave a comment down below as we really do read them all and take the feedback seriously. Have a great day and happy developing.